Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it's time again for a nice physics problem. And let's return to our beloved Newtonian mechanics. It was not very long ago that one of my viewers, very frequent viewer, his name is Josh, asked my help on a, on a problem. And it occurred to me that it would be a very nice problem for one of my physics problems, bi-weekly physics problems. Is it a high school problem? Yeah, I would say it borderlines high school and freshman physics college. All right, let's take a look more closely at the problem. This is a horizontal table surface and it's frictionless. It's important. It's frictionless. This is a, a block, let's say a wooden block, which has a mass 2m. And it is connected with a spring to the wall, and the spring has spring constant k. On top of this block is another block which has mass m. But there is friction between these two, and the friction coefficient is mu. And this block is connected to this wall with a spring which has the same spring constant k as this spring. Now, it should be obvious that as long as this block is not slipping on top, that the whole system can oscillate back and forth. But there comes a time that the oscillation is so large that this one starts to slip. And the question now is, what is that maximum amplitude of this motion that it starts to slip? Let's all call that x max. So it's easy for me to evaluate your answer. All right, so in summary, the system can oscillate back and forth as long as this object doesn't slip on top. But in principle it can slip because the friction coefficient is mu. So what now is the largest amplitude of the system when it oscillates so that it just is not yet slipping? Okay? It may be a trifle harder than you think. But maybe not. Good luck. Have a nice day. Take care. And yes, 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 of course, we are still friends. That goes without saying.